Hello, um, this is about how to upload new Moodle users into Moodle, new user accounts. In a previous video I showed you how to make up this spreadsheet and if you haven't seen that one and you're not sure what you're looking at here then I suggest you go and find that previous video and watch that first. But if you're familiar with this and you know what you're looking at here then we move on to where we go file download as a comma separated values file. Click on that and it will give us a dialog. Put it somewhere on your local machine that you're going to be able to find it again. I'm putting it on my desktop. Google Spreadsheets will have already named it pretty sensibly. Little tip here when you're done with these CSV files, delete them. You don't need them, and it saves you getting confused with an old one next time you do it. So when you're done, delete the CSV file. Now for now, uh, we're going to go to Moodle, and uh, we're going to... not there, let's go here. There we are, we're on Moodle, the home page of Moodle, and we just drop down to Site Administration, but it doesn't matter where you pick up that site administration um, menu from, you know, what, 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 almost whatever screen you're in, you'll be able to see that as, an, as a Moodle admin. Go to Users, just there. Go to Accounts. And as you look down through there, you'll come near the bottom, you'll come to Upload Users. That's what you're looking for, Upload Users. You're going to upload users using that CSV file you just created from your Google Spreadsheet. Load users. Simple dialog here. Choose a file. Go and find it. Um, I put mine on my desktop. And there it is. Open that. Upload this file. Leave these as the defaults. It'll say by default CSV delimiter, very probably. If not, set it to that. It'll very probably say UTF-8. If not, set it to that. Look, there's a lot of choices. It needs to be UTF-8 or it won't work. Preview rows. Well, it's typical to upload 30 users these days, so... Um, uh, perhaps you'd set it to 100, you know, if you had 120 you'd set it to 1000 because you actually want to see a preview of all those users listed. You want to see all your new users listed in the preview because that will allow you to see any errors. And press upload users. Right, you've come through to here. You've not yet uploaded them, you're in the upload users preview and you can look down through this list and see if you've got any problems. If it's got any problems, um, they'll show up here. And this all looks sweet, you know. This lot, it's a joy, you don't have to worry. Leave them as the defaults. The defaults are the correct settings. Click Upload Users for the second time. <laughs> now you get Upload Users Result. Now, all of mine in this demo are generating an error. They're saying user not added, already registered. And that's because I've used a file, I used it on purpose, a file of already existing accounts, so that you would see what the error look like if it occurs. If it goes smoothly for you, it'll simply say you've uploaded users created whatever number you had in your spreadsheet. Say you had 32 users in your spreadsheet, it'll say users created 32. Users skip none. Users having a weak password, none. Errors, none. Or it may say, and it typically would, that would it's very rare to get 30 new users without one error. Uh, it might well say users created um, 31, users skipped 1. And you would see here it would say users not added because they're already registered. Now that's a duplicate user. Now that user will not be added to the course. That user will not be added to the group. 
you'll have to go and find them and do it manually. So if you see any anything that looks like this, user not added, already registered, either copy those details to your clipboard or into a text file or something, or use old-fashioned paper and pen to make a note of their name, and go and find them and uh, get them in there manually. Sometimes errors occur as well because, um, uh, especially women, uh, remarry, marry or remarry and change their name and uh, yet they may have the same uh, school email address so uh, we know they're one person Moodle isn't sure who they are because Moodle uses this email address as the unique identifier another catch that uh, another little catch, uh, a fish hook, is uh, principal. I'm looking for one here, I can't find one, but sometimes it says principal at selwynschool.nz. Well, sometimes the principal changes. So Moodle is seeing principal at selwynschool.nz, but maybe that isn't Sharon Pope anymore. You see? Yes. Now, if you get into difficulties with errors and you can't resolve them quickly, don't hesitate to find somebody on the LX team. Uh, Rochelle, Lockie, Stephen, we will be pleased to help you unravel these problems. We do it all the time and, we're, and we'll quickly get to the bottom of it and get it sorted out. But do not let it go. Don't just say, oh, it's only one in 30. Every user is gold dust to us at the moment. And um, and, and you need to, 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 to sort each and every one of them uh, uh, out and know they're, they're on there. And the thing to do is probably to uh, have a, a account, you know, um, you, if you've got, what is it, I've got uh, 44 rows, so there's 43 users on here because the top row is the, um, the top row is the column names, so there are 43 users here, so I should go into this group uh, after I've uploaded the users and I should look and see if I've got 43 users in there, and if I'm not, then uh, something I need to do about it. Here we are, look, principal at Selwyn School is actually Peter Barker at the moment. Yeah, but in a couple of years time that'll change, but this principal at Selwyn School will still be in our Moodle system. That's the kind of way errors do sometimes occur. Okay, coolio, you've done it. Well done. Bye.